Hello once again dudes, my name is Emil and uh, welcome to the first tutorial in the assembly programming language. Now um, you might be wondering what is assembly and uh, I don't know how good my net is right now. Um, but let Well well at last. Anyways let's get on the internet uh, enough. It will work. I don't know, it might be a little bit slow. My internet and some hate the computer. Um, Cause I have a big project. I'm working on my own operating system. Um, I've made an assembly actually, so that's why I'm going to make the serious thing. That's kind of interesting. But um, so the computer is running very slow in the beginning, and then goes fine later. All right. So uh, when you're in here, we'll need something. Ah, oh, God, please. Um, honestly, I have a folder called programming tools, and uh, let me explain a little thing too. Uh, first, I'm gonna give a little background of assembly. Now, now I started Visual C Sharp. Ah, no, oh God, this is going fine. Right, assembly is a low-level programming language. Now, that's translated to English. It means it's hard. Now, what is good about assembly? It's Assembly is fast, fast, speed, speed, and more speed. That's what I used to say about assembly. The, what you do with the assembly, I'm just going to sh shut down this, is called basically um, a instruction. Now, like, this is a instruction and I'm not I'm going to explain to you what that means later but there's a lot of instructions now assembly needs to be running on the following operating systems in order to work Windows XP um, I'm just going to type it on like this actually now the reason it needs to be the 42 bit is because your operating system can support higher. Um, so you'll need, if you are having um, any of these uh, operating systems, uh, and uh, well, over here actually, also, uh, and all the you know, all these uh, th uh, s uh, f um. 42-bit systems and the uh, older ones, uh, assembly should be running fine. But 64-bit um, cannot support 16-bit applications. And the assembly applications we're going to be building is in 16-bit. Now the reason for this is, or uh, I guess it's the reason, I'm not, honestly, you, I can tell you right now. I'm not that much into computer, I just like programming. Uh, but you have your System 42. If you watched my uh, operating system tutorial, uh, you notice uh, that was too far forward. Let's see if I can get a little bad, back, bad, back. All right, um, you can see right here we have something called MS DOS, it's always saying default. Now, this is an old operating system. and Whenever you compile, compile assembly equals to dot com. Now dot com equals to command, command equals to ms does. So that's how it, it's kind of hard to explain. You don't really need to know it, but we'll need some softwares. First of all, um, we'll need a te test uh, text editor. Now this is called Fasten. That flat, ex that's a flat assembler. That's the language, or, or you know, the type of language we're going to be used that is assembly. Now uh, it has a compiler and uh, syntax highlighting, but I will not be using this uh, text editor. I'm going to type in my code in Notepad++ and copy it in here and run compile because in Notepad++ it does look nice. Now, if you're running on a 64-bit uh, operating system, you'll need a software called uh, DOSBox. Here, DOSBox.
box. Um, and dust box, I will explain that later where I go to my, my um, Windows 7 computer that has 64-bit. Um, but we're going to be using uh, FASM, Flat Assembler, and Notepad++. And I'm just going to show you where you can download FASM. Uh, because, yeah, I, I, I like to do that for some reason. I think it's kind of important uh, that you get the idea. So, yeah, here I have. <coughs> Alright, so you can just search for. It's called. Uh, what the hell is this? Yeah, it's called flatassembler.net, if I remember. Flat assembler.net so you can just go in there and download fasten alright so let's actually go ahead and end the tutorial for now it's getting long so anyways thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next assembly programming tutorial